just want to say action by action. That's that's how you would implement it. Um, so when Lisa and I developed this, we weren't necessarily just thinking about the corporate space. I think we were thinking about organizations in general. We've had people in higher ed look at this and think about, well, how can we design it? And actually, even with COVID, I've heard teachers looking at this and thinking about, hey, how can we expand out of the classroom and, and think about remote learning, you know, re-envision remote learning. So I don't think that there's anything that would hold you back from using it in a nonprofit or a volunteer-based setting. I think volunteer personas are going to be very a very big part of of thinking through what kind of learning assets would make the would make them have the most impact and ease of use. I can tell you that many of the ideas that I've had about as Crystal and I developed the learning cluster uh, model is coming from the scouting model of badging and interacting and going off and doing things on your own and having your own resources. So if we look at the organization of, of scouting, which is you know a nonprofit, they have a lot of good stuff that you can tap into that fits right into the learning cluster design model. And I think, I think that that's ideal because the kinds of learner personas you're going to have are going to need such a wide variety of things because there are different levels of support, there are different levels of where they're coming from and where they're trying to go. 